Good morning, Spurs Red Falcons. This week is Septem September 28th through o October 2nd. Let's go to kindergarten for the letter of the week. Hi, my name is Hayden. I'm with Allie and Lydia from Mrs. Willie's class. Allie, can you tell me what the letter of the week is? M. Good. What sound does the letter M make? Mm. Good job. Hey, Lydia, what are the some things that start with the letter M? Milk, mouse, mirror. Thank you, kindergarten. Now to our reporter for our story highlights. Hi, my name is Hayden. I'm here with Mrs. Lee. Mrs. Lee, what books are on the table today? Hayden, these are some book recommendations that I have for the students at Sprucewood. Most of these books are new or newer to our school. Some of them I even got after we went on our big long break. So I thought it might be fun to show some of them to you. You are so right. <laughs> okay. The first one is Two Dragons in a Bag. That looks like a good book. I might want to read that next time I come to the library. This boy named Jackson gets sent to spend the day with a mean old lady. He thinks she might be his grandma, but when she gets there, he figures out that she's just a witch and she needs his help to get two dragons back to the magical realm. There's only two rules. You can't let them out of the bag and you can't feed them anything sweet. But he, before he knows it, he and his two friends have broken both of those rules. You'll have to read it to find out what happens. I am so excited. <laughs> This book is called Anya and the Dragon. It's about a girl in the 900s in Eastern Europe. Wow, that is old. Her family's in trouble. They need some money. So she agrees to kill a dragon. But when she finds the dragon, she finds out that it's not an old or a scary dragon. And so she's faced with a choice. Does she save the dragon or save her family? That is a heartbreaker. <laughs> the author of this book also lives in Draper. That is crazy. That is so close. I know a lot of kids at our school like scary stories. This one is called Scary Stories for Young Foxes. It's about two foxes who get separated from their litters, from their brothers and sisters, and they have to go through all kinds of scary things to find a den to call home. Zombies, witches, ghosts. This is the kind of book filled with stories that you might tell around the campfire. That sounds amazing. This book I have actually read. I was so excited when we got it. It's called A Good Kind of Trouble. The main character is a girl named Shayla and she is allergic to trouble. When she starts to get in trouble, then her hands start to itch. But some things happen in her town and in her school and she finds out that maybe some rules need to be broken and she has to try and overcome her fear of trouble to do the right thing. That sounds amazing. I want to read that next time. Maybe chapter books aren't really your favorite thing. Maybe Sometimes. you like nonfiction. Maybe you like animal books. I love animals. This is a series of crazy animal facts. I think the titles speak for themselves. How do sloths poop? <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> How do snakes poop? They're not all about poop. I know, that is just hilarious. How do cats purr? That sounds right. How do penguins stay warm? I want to learn about that. that? <laughs> How do they do that in Antarctica? I need to read about okay. that. How do dolphins sleep? Hmm. This back of this book says they sleep with one eye open. Oh man. And how do spiders hear? <laughs> Oh, that's going to give me night ears. <laughs> These books, maybe you, maybe animals aren't your thing, but maybe natural disasters. Oh, I are love your natural disasters. Uh, me too. So I've got a book about tsunamis, wow. wildfires, avalanches, floods, hurricanes, earthquakes, and tornadoes. Oh, I would hate to be in, a, in any of those disasters. <laughs> me too. If picture books are your thing with beautiful illustrations, mm -hmm. these books are by an author and an artist who are a wife and husband, and they also live here in the Salt Lake Valley. Mm -hmm. And these books talk about 
the styles of different artists and you can see that looks really fun some to of read. the beautiful pictures and there's this cute little mouse in <laughs> every one of them he's kind of your guide <laughs> Lastly, this is one of my favorite picture books. We didn't have it in our library until last year. Have you ever seen this one, Hayden? No, I've never seen that one. Okay. You'll have to read it to find out what happens when you press the yellow dot. Oh, no. <laughs> okay. Those are my recommendations for this year. Thank you, Mrs. Lee, and have a great rest of your day. Thanks. I'm here with our new fourth grade teacher, Mrs. Shogren. Mrs. Shogren, where did you go to college? Great question, Hayden. So I went to college at Utah State University in Logan, so I am an Aggie. That is so cool. Have you always been planning on being a teacher? Great question. So I am the oldest in my family. I have two sisters and a brother. So I loved when I was little to make them sit down and we'd play school. And then when I was in high school, my aunt opened a preschool and I got to help her with that. And that's when I decided I would love to be a teacher. That sounds like a lot of fun. Is it strange being um, teaching during the virus? That is such a good question. I think it's strange for students and teachers. We have to wear masks and stay physical distance. But I just want to say I'm so proud of our Falcons. They have been wearing their mask. You're staying physical distance. You're cleaning our school. So it's hard to be at school with the virus going on, but it's been so fun to be back and seeing everyone and I get to teach in person, which is something I love to do. Yeah, it was tough teaching online. Have you been have you always lived in utah great question i have i grew up in a small town um, near logan named called clarkston and then um i started teaching in st george and then i moved to salt lake that's uh that is nice what is your favorite color oh my favorite color is yellow like the sun i love to be outside so yellow is my favorite color that's my second favorite color Mrs. Shogren, what Hogwarts house would you be in? Great question, Hayden. I think I would be sorted into Hufflepuff because Hufflepuff is all about hard work and patience and loyalty, and I think those are characteristics that I would be put into Hufflepuff. That is a good choice. Thank you, Mrs. Shogren. Thank you so much, Hayden. I'm so excited to be a Sprucewood Falcon. <laughs> now for Sprucewood current events. Picture day is this Friday, October 2nd. See you next week, Falcons. Thanks for watching the Falcon Report!